Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm a four-star developer, the always front-end as well as the back-end. And this channel is all about how to uh, become a four-star developer without any computer science background. So if you, if this is your first time watching my video, please subscribe to my channel and thumbs up to my content if you like my video. Also, I will continue to upload all related videos about how to become a full stack developer. So in this series, I'm going to talk about the third language, so which is a prerequisite for mobile development using Flutter. And I will go over everything you need to know about the third language. So here, it's a quick agenda for today's video. So first we'll give you a brief introduction about what star and how we're going to use it. And second is we will guide you through the installation process. And the final, uh, I will just give you a quick through about your first program, uh, which is the Hello World. And Back to the DAR official side. So what is DAR? And DAR is a programming language which developed by Google and released in 2013. It aims to help developers build the multiple platform application with Flutter. And DAR is an object-oriented language like Java and C++. So if you are familiar with one of those languages, uh, I think you could learn it very, very quickly through these tutorials. And the official website of the DAR is, uh, is a very good place for you to reference. And also all the links to websites and codes will be put in the description below. So you don't need to take any notes. I will write down anything for you. Okay, so you will see open the dar official dar website you will see there is a get star icon and maybe it's a label yeah on the right top corner so when you click it you'll be direct to the dar sdk download page and dar provide a different sdks for different platform you can see here is uh, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So based on my laptop, I will show you how to install Dart SDK on Mac OS. So as you can see, the installation pro process is quite straightforward. You just copy those two, two commands and paste into, into your console, your terminal, yeah, into your terminal. So however, you will like uh, encounter an uh, error says root command not found. So when you encounter this error, just see, just go to the homebrew website uh, and copy the command they show into their they show in their website. Just copy this script and open your terminal and just paste it and hit enter. So this command will install the homebrew in your laptop. So what is homebrew? Homebrew just a package manager for your for Mac OS. You can use for Linux as well. It's very convenient to download some packages from the internet. And after you successful install the homebrew, then go back to Dart's official site and copy those two commands and paste in your terminal and hit enter. So just wait a few minutes, the Dart SDK will be installed. Uh, since I already installed Dart SDK, so I will get the warning say I already installed it. So if you if it, if this is your first time install it, you, you won't get the same message assigned. So how to check if you successful install or not? So here is a command called that and 
dash dash version so you hit enter you'll see your current dot version number so if you see the message you see me like me and yeah it indicate you already installed it successful congratulations so back to my map and the next step I will going to uh, show you how to install the code editor so which you can write the dark code and here I would like to uh, recommend the Visual Studio Code so which is uh, developed by Microsoft so the reason I like to use Visual Studio Code uh, because you can install the external plugin that provides like different features as you want yeah, the installation is also pretty straightforward. Uh, you can choose a different platform you are and just hit the download button. So you will download a zip file and you just unzip it when you finish. So after you finish the download and you open the Visual Studio Code, I will show you how to install those a plugin. Yeah, here I have uh, two highly recommend uh, plugin for you to install. So if uh, you want to write the dark code, for the first one is called dark, and the second one is called code runner. So back to Visual Studio Code, you will find a uh, there is icon called extensions on the left panel bar. So when you click it, you you can search the plugin plugin in the marketplace so i just search the dar and you see the first one show uh have a 3 million download and ins uh, and installed it so number of uh, install and download so i i i just just install this one and the second plugin uh is called code runner or run and also install this one so for the data plugin it provides a feature you you could highlight the syntax um, and also the code runner is for your quickly run code you just need to right click the file and hit run code and your code will be run it's really convenient plugin so after you finish install those two plugins so we will going to write down our first dark program so you just open the folder yeah currently we don't have any like a folder in our workspace we just we, we just need to create a new folder so we open new folder so go to the workspace you want to store your project and just hit the new new folder and here i just name my folder start tutorial and I create and just open it with you may we with few seconds yeah you will see your workspace create successful and here I'm going to type the our first start program you can create a new file uh, by right click and also you can just hit this icon this the first one is create a new file and the second one is create a new folder so uh, because this just the uh, first uh, program just a demo so we just create a simple file and call it hello world and we go back to the our official site and copy the first program which is hello world and you need to save it after you finish the code you need to save it so if you in mac os you can hit uh, command s if you in windows you hit uh, control s so after you finish your right click you will see this run code yeah you will see the console says hello world yeah congratulations okay so i will go through this hello world program so 
And as you see, the, the, the main point, the main function, the main function is the entry point for every program. So if you didn't write down the main function, uh, your program maybe fail. And also you see after the code we write actually is between those curly bracket. And we can type any code uh, into this uh, curly bracket. But uh, I will talk uh, more detail about what's the function and how to declare the variable and how to uh, specify the data type and classes and control flow in the future video. So we just keep it simple for now. And this this line of code just print the hello world into the console. And the print also is a function uh, which is built in dark. And if you need to print something, you just need, you just simply uh, call the print function and pass the argument, pass the parameter into it. Yeah, parameter. So the per parameter I'm parsing is a string, so which is hello world. But don't don't worry if you didn't know string. I will talk you those in later video. So this is just uh, the first program. I just want to show you we successful install our like a coding environment yeah and also if, if you just want to like uh, familiar with uh, World Voice Star and just want to practice uh, the star feature and you and don't want to install uh, this uh, SDK uh, that already uh, provide this uh, website called Darpad. So you can open the Darpad, they including the SDK. So you can type anything in this uh, left panel as well, and you just hit run, the code will, will show in the right panel. Yeah. But I personally, I, I prefer uh, using V8 Visual Studio Code because we will have something like a, a suggestion. Uh, um, like syntax highlight, but uh, we can add more plugin as uh, as we, if we want something like a more in our futures. Okay, so back to the my man, and that's all for today's video. And I hope all enjoy the content I'm showing. And so. I will keep uh, uploading the future video about the different topic of, of the dark language. So I will see you in next video.